How are you supposed to be cutting your straps whenever you finish your branch test? So as you know, whenever you finish your pipe weld, you turn in your straps one by nine inches long, one inches wide. Either you turn them in for a bend or for a nick. On your branch test, all you're gonna be doing is turning in nick breaks. And you're gonna be turning four of them. One from your ear here, the other one from your ear here, and the two throats right here. I'm gonna show you how I lay them out and how to cut them. I'm gonna be using this very old practice branch test that we have here on our shop. Now, whenever you're laying this out, you're not gonna lay them out in one inch. As you can see, we had started doing it already. What I use is I use this square right here. And all you have to do is you're gonna mark your strap two inches wide. This is two inches. And all you have to do is wherever you welded right there, this is not finished, but this is where you're gonna be turning in. All you do is set your square and you're gonna be drawing a line straight in, straight up. So this is gonna take care of your width. Now, one thing to know is that depending on your inspector, your inspector might want you to go an inch in the middle, right here. So you'll do a little V group here and a little V group that way. And this right here, this section, this one inch section is what you will turn in. Depending on what the inspector wants, sometimes he's gonna want the whole strap like this and they'll test that whole section or sometimes you'll go and leave an inch. So you'll cut straight down, come in at an angle, go back down, and you'll leave that area. And that's where you're gonna be using for a nick break. Now, after you lay it out, your inspector's gonna let you know what he wants. All you have to do now is measure four and a half inches up and draw your line. It doesn't have to be very perfect because they're just gonna be breaking it. You draw your line on the bottom. So now you got this laid out already. All you have to do is cut it. Let's go ahead and do the ear now. So your throat is gonna be done the exact same way. You're gonna be doing a two inch. So all you do is get your square and you go ahead and mark right in the center of wherever you weld it, right? Usually sometimes some inspectors will just want you to weld this part. Sometimes you have to cap it all the way around. It just depends who you get, right? So you'll mark your two inches. Now on a side note, what I like to do is whenever I'm taking my test, right? This is the most important part that you're going to be, um, you know, watching out for, cause this is what they're gonna test. So I always make a, a line right here to ensure that I pay extra attention to this part right here. So you got your two inches this way. Now you gotta go your two inches the opposite way, coming this way, match them up and you go this way. And then now you're gonna go ahead and mark it going up four and a half inches that way and this way. And then you can just connect your line. Again, you're cutting the strap. So now all you have to do is get your torch. Sometimes they have a plasma you can use, uh, whatever they have. Usually it's gonna be your, your torch, oxyacetylene torch, and you're gonna cut it. Remember what I said, it depends on the inspector whether you're going in an inch this way or you're cutting the whole strap. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them and then after that, I'll show you how to grind them and how to set them up for the nick break. Once you got it set up, all you have to do is cut it down. We're gonna cut the two inch strap. We're not gonna go ahead and do the one inch this time, but your inspector will let you know what you need to do. I'm using the size zero tip. Um, that's what I'm gonna be using here to cut this. This is how the straps ends up looking. Now you just gotta clean it up and get the metabol disc to cut into it so they can nick break it. Let's go ahead and do the throat now. So what you wanna do is you wanna lay something on it. I, I put it facing up and I would lay something so it won't fall. If not, you're gonna be struggling with it. Then I cut this side and then I cut the other side. This is a strap for your throat. All you have to do is clean it up now and set it up for the nick break. Let's do it. This is a strap for the ears. All I did was remove the slag 
from the edges. Now, you can polish it if you want to. Me, personally, I just take the slag off and start working on it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get your metabo disc, a cutting blade, whatever you want to call it, and go across in the middle. Go in about maybe an eighth of an inch on each side and cut on the bead itself, too. Then they're going to put it in a hole. They're going to pull on it. They're going to break it. Look inside to see if there's any trash. This is the one for the throat right here. Same thing, you're going to go ahead and run a line in the middle and then pay attention to the bead right here. You're going to go about half, uh, one eighth of an inch inside the bead on each side across the bead. They'll also put it and then they'll break it, look inside to see if there's any trash. Let me show you how it looks once you prepare it for the nick break. Okay, so this right here is the throat right here. As you can see, you run a small line with your cutting disc all along in the middle of your cap. On your side right there, you got to align it with your bead as well. On the bead itself, you do a small line, if you can see that right there. And then you align it and you go about an eighth of an inch. And this is what they're going to be breaking and looking inside. And on your ears, you might have to curve it a little bit. Go in the middle of your cap as well. On your bead too. And then on the sides, you're going to go ahead and go in about an eighth of an inch. This is what they're going to be putting in there. They're going to break it and the wood's going to come apart on both of these and they're going to be looking at it. The Bryce test is one of the tests that is kind of long and if you're starting out, it can be overwhelming. But after you do it over and over and over again, as long as you take the necessary steps to get to your weld and take your time on the fit, you should be okay. I hope that this video helps you down the road whenever you take your Bryce test. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching.